thank you, dear Lord, for blessing us today. I thank you, dear Lord, for blessing me, for waking me up today, giving me health and strength in my body. Lord God, as I come before your, your, your daughters today and your sons and your daughters, even those that are listening in the wonderful name of Jesus. Father God, my prayer is that you will continue to be firing my hands, firing my feet, and firing my belly. Lord God, I pray that the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart will be acceptable in thy sight, oh Lord God. Father God, I thank you, dear Lord, for this another opportunity, Lord God, to stand before you and to decree and declare your wonderful word. Now, Lord God, I thank you, Father God, that you're going to be doing something great today in the name of Jesus. Lord God, I thank you, Father God for the mantles that are going to be going forth today in the name of Jesus and Lord God we said amen amen and amen and amen hallelujah thank you Lord God come on let's just put your hands together for the word of God in the name of Jesus I hope you're taking notes I encourage you to take notes and in case you didn't realize today can I just you know just keep it raw amen, amen. in the name of Jesus in case you haven't realized that resurrection day is tomorrow. Am I right about it? Yes. Amen, amen. Amen. We then went through, we went through the garden of Gethsemane. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. We had a wonderful time in the garden. Amen. Glory to God. Lord, we Lord, also Lord. went through a good Friday. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. We had, I pray that you had a wonderful good Friday. Because we sure brought it in real, real good. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I hope you enjoyed your good Friday. But today, no one have hardly, hardly ever, ever, ever talk about the Sabbath. Am I right about amen. it? Amen. But there is a word about the Sabbath. Ooh, Jesus. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. All right. In case you're taking any notes, <laughs> uh, you can put down the title of today's message. Is, this Sabbath is the eve of my breakthrough. Come on now. Right. Come on now. All this right. Sabbath you, is the eve of my breakthrough. Yeah, All right now, in the name of Jesus. Come on. It's the eve of your breakthrough. Amen. You must understand. That as I mentioned, that as we go through the gospels, are we gonna we're gonna just take our time and kind of go through the gospel? I want to point some things out for you. And, and, and Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, Amen. That they give an account about the death, burial, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. Well, I want you to turn to the book of Matthew. Hallelujah. We're gonna start in the book of Matthew. In the name of Jesus, Matthew chapter twenty-seven. Hallelujah. Matthew 27. When you get there, say amen. amen. Hallelujah. Matthew chapter 27. I want you to put your eye on verse number 62. Hallelujah. The word of the Lord God says, On the next day, which followed the day of preparation. Pause right there. On the next day, which followed the day of preparation. <laughs> Put a little mark right there. Come on, let's go to the book of Mark. I told you we're just going to walk through the word just a little bit. I'm giving you a little background before we fly this plane. The name of Jesus. In Mark chapter 15. Hallelujah. Mark 15. The name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Mark chapter 15. We're going to be looking at verse number 42. And verse number 42, it says, now when evening had come, because it was preparation day, that is the day before the Sabbath. Am I right about it? Amen. So in case you haven't gotten it just yet, preparation day is called Good Friday. Oh Amen. God. Good right. Friday is called preparation day. So every time when you see in these gospels, when you see preparation day, they're talking about Good Friday. It is the day before what? Before the Sabbath. Come on and walk with me. Just a little. Well, let's go down to Brother Luke's house. Luke. We're covering the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. It's called the Synoptic Gospels. For those of you who just like to know the proper term for it. And Luke chapter number 23, the Word of God gives the account once again. 23 and 54. These verses are important for you because you're going to understand preparation day. And you can appreciate the Sabbath day. Come on. Amen. On, in verse number 54 it says that day was the preparation and the Sabbath what drew near. Is that not what the word of God says? I'm reading from the New King James it says in uh, Luke chapter 23 verse 54 it says that day was the <coughs> preparation and tell your neighbor the Sabbath drew near. Tell your neighbor the Sabbath drew near. Hallelujah. I told you it's the eve of your breakthrough. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, wow. It drew near. It's the eve of your breakthrough. And as we, we're going to stop right there in the book of John. John is where I'm going to 
continue to read and go forward with the text. John chapter 19 and verse number 40. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Amen, amen. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I hear the pages turning. That's a beautiful thing. Let the pages turn. You need to get there. Get the foundation. <clears throat> We're in John 19, beginning at verse number 40. The word of the Lord God said, are we there? Yeah. Amen. amen. The word of the Lord God says, then they took the body of Jesus and they bound it in strips of linen with spices as the custom of the Jews is when they bury. Verse 41. Now in the place where he was crucified, there was, a there was a garden. And in the garden, a new tomb in which no one had been laid. Verse 42. So there they laid Jesus because the Jewish preparation day for the tomb was nearby. Amen. Amen. So I just said that there are four places where we talked about Preparation day. And I'm going to put a little seal, a little pause. How many of you saw about that garden? Did y'all see that garden? <laughs> in case you hadn't realized that, that's another message for another time. But you need to know about them gardens in the name wow. of Jesus. Because in the Garden of Eden, what was not Adam and Eve in the garden? Mm -hmm. That was a garden of birth and death too. Am I right about it? Yeah. Am I pre because in the Garden of Eden, when Adam, when the Lord breathed into Adam, Amen. he was not so to Adam and Eve were born in the garden. Yes. But also they died in the garden. Amen. Because then they eat the fruit in the garden. Isn't it amazing? As it is then, as so it is with the Lord Jesus. He's, I told you just clarify scripture because in the garden, they said, in Gethsemane, he died. Isn't that where he died? You know, Gethsemane was where his spirit man, where he died there spiritually. And surely enough, when they buried him, where did they bury him? In a garden. Lord, have mercy. It's something about them gardens. They buried him. So surely enough, he died in the garden, and then he rose in the garden. Because if you think about it, because the Lord God, they said they put, it was in there, verse 41, in the garden, a new tomb. That means nobody had been there. No one had yet been laid. And surely enough, the Lord God says, you know, I'm going to borrow this new tomb just for a little while. Because I'm not going to be here for much longer. Hallelujah. But I want you to see that. I just wanted to point it out for you meat eaters only, MEOs. You need to understand there's something powerful about the garden. There's something powerful about the garden. Tell your neighbor, this is the eve of my breakthrough. This is the eve of my breakthrough. Oh, tell your neighbor like you mean it. Come on. It's the eve of my breakthrough. Come on. Come on. You must understand that surely enough. We give God glory because this is the eve of your breakthrough. I want you to understand. I want you to understand what the word of God is saying. Because he said, the eve of your breakthrough. Some of you are like, well, I really don't understand. Well, let me make it plain for you. Let's look up the word eve. Some of you don't know what the word eve means. But I said, you know, let me help you out. Tell you, I'm going to help you out. Because eve, and when I looked it up, good old Webster says that eve is a day or a period of time immediately. Before an event or an occasion. Am I preaching up in the right house? No, 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 let me, let me, let me go. Eve is a day or a period of time immediately before an event or an occasion. Let me make it plain for you. It's the day before. How many of you know that we're on the Sabbath day? Today is the day before. It's the moment before. Yeah. It's the evening before. Yeah. It's the night before. I don't know about you, yes, but it's a, the day before my victory. Amen. It's the day before my, 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 my midnight hour. It's the day before. Yes, you must understand. It's the Jesus. day before my breakthrough. Jesus. It is the day before. I told you that, surely, you fought the good fight. Yes, you run your course. Yes. And the Lord God said, today is your Sabbath. The Jesus. eve of your breakthrough. Yes. I don't know about you, but oh. you should get excited about that. Because your resurrection is going to be hard. But the, the day before is a Sabbath day. You got to shout before you get the victory. Yeah, man, yeah, yeah, man. Some of your ways, you say, I'm going to wait till resurrection day. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Rewind, let's turn that around. Let's back that up just a little bit. You got to shout before it comes. Come on, you can't wait till early Sunday morning. Because early Sunday morning, we know it's taken care of. But the Lord God said, when he hung his head, and when he died, when he said he was finished, it was already done. So on your resurrection day, your, your resurrection day on that Sabbath, you just said, Lord, it's the eve of my breakthrough. Yeah. I'm going to shout. Yeah. I'm going to dance. Jesus. I'm going to praise Jesus. the Lord. Yeah. Like nobody did it because it's the day before. Yeah. Tell your neighbor, it's the eve of my breakthrough. Yeah. Hallelujah. Many of you may not understand, but I come to tell you some good news. Yes. Some real, real good, good news. Resurrection day is coming. Yes, it is on its way. Yes. But I'm here to tell you that you gotta give God some praise right about now. Yes. You can't wait till tomorrow to celebrate your victory. Preach, Pastor, preach. I'm talking about the eve. The eve of your breakthrough. It's already about to happen. Yes, 
Lord. You know what? You just got to praise God in the bed. You know what? You got to give God praise before that son come home. Yeah. 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 temporary, the things that are seen, are, the things that are seen are temporary, the things that are unseen are eternal, because they did not see what the Lord was doing. Do you know on the Sabbath day, the Lord went to hell? Yeah, come on now. He went to hell, and he went down the keys. Because it's the eve of my breakthrough. Because see, surely enough, yeah, as the enemy was cutting up, 
in the name of Jesus. The enemy was cutting up. Well, you must understand that the enemy did not know what God was about to do. He's not that smart. Surely enough, you must, you must understand that Jesus came to set the captives free. Amen. 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 Did you not? That's why we get so Amen. excited. Yes. Oh, he had an assignment when he came. Hey. He came to heal crying, sign, dying yes. people of God. Come on. He came to heal, set free, and deliver. Yes, My Lord. Bible tells me he came to set the captives free. Yes, right. Yes. Oh, I don't know about you, but I was held captive. Yes. I, don't yes, know yes. I was held captive. Some of you are still held captive. Oh, but after today, hey. Hey, oh. it's the eve of your breakthrough. Hey. You're going to break them chains up in your sister. Hey. You're going to break them chains hey. today in the name of Jesus. Yes, yeah, because he rose for you too. Hey. Yeah. He's not just my God. He's your God. In the name of Jesus. You must understand that surely enough that the Lord God said, you know what? He came to set the captives free. Amen. He came to heal the sick and to raise the dead. And best of all, he came to cast out some death. That's right. 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 He came to get them demons out. In the name of Jesus. They can't stay where the light is. Because we're so light up in here. Hallelujah. Watch them devils run. They can't go. They got them. power before it gets you. Thank you so you got to get up on board. God says, I raised the dead. Hey, hey, yes. There's some dead things in your life. It's going to be raised on tomorrow. Right. But why can't you act like it today? Yes. 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 Why you got to wait till tomorrow to see them show up? Why don't you dance it like you're already there? Yes. Yes. yes, Lord God. Hallelujah. God said, I'm telling you, you're on the eve of your breakthrough. Thank you. You're on the eve of your breakthrough. In the name of Jesus, as the word of God says, as he continues to, to minister, he said, strongly said, we all have struggles. Yes. Am I preaching up in the right house? Yes. Yes. Am I preaching up in the right house? Preach, Pastor, preach. We all got struggles. Yes. 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 Jesus had some struggles. Yes. You're like, yeah, yeah. look, the disciples had some struggles. Yes. The prophets of old had some yes. struggles. Jesus. So you know what? We're, we're just right in line. Oh, we're not right. exempt. You know what? We're going to have some struggles too. Right. But you must understand. Yes. That our struggles are not going to hold us back. Amen. Right. In the name of Jesus. You may have struggles because Jesus' struggle was a church. Woo! And you know that was his bride, don't you know that? Yes, his yes biggest Lord. problem came from the house. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Preach, yeah. preach, Pastor. Let me get it. Come on. His biggest problem came the from church. the people that so said, Help God. Am I preaching up in here? Amen. Preach, you Pastor. Must understand that is that not a struggle. Unless you've ever been through that, you may not realize that's a struggle, baby. Oh, yeah. That's a big struggle. When you're going, look, when you're trying, he's the living word. He was a low God. He was God with us. And surely they're trying to tell him who he was. And he knew who he was. My God. Somebody trying to tell you who you are in God. And you say, I know my place. Okay. I know my place. I know who I am. I know who I know who I belong to. I'm a child of the most high God. Don't you know? I'm a royal diadem in his hand. And don't you know, baby? Don't you know? I've got the light. I've got the light. Don't you know? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Look at me, said my, look at my beloved. Jesus. Yes, Lord. Preach, Pastor. Yes. Sweet talk to me. Okay, that's all. Lord. You must understand yes, that surely Lord. enough that, that yes, you're on the eve of your breakthrough. Ooh, so as I'm telling you, you have struggles. Yeah, yeah, I just want to help you out a little bit because if you're thinking there were really no struggles, said Jesus had some struggles. Yes, Lord. The prophet of old had some struggles, too. Yes. Elijah, dealt with, Elijah dealt with depression. My God. You're like, oh, wait a minute. Just in case you feel like, well, I don't go through a lot of boxes of depression. You ain't by yourself, baby. You're not by a pop prophet, a great, uh, the prophet Elijah. You're like, I never saw that. When he ran from Jezebel, yeah. what you think that yes. was? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. He just called out and killed all them prophets of Baal. And then they're running, running from a little old Jezebel. I'm going to just keep it clean. <laughs> he ran from a Jezebel. Is that not a spirit of depression? Because the Bible said he went and got in the cave. Yeah, yeah. And he put his head down. Doesn't that sound like the spirit of depression? Yeah. Because you get away from everybody. Yeah. And, you, yeah. and he's not going to try to go up, up and away. He said, I'm going to leave me alone. Yeah. Am I preaching in the right house? Yeah. Amen. All right, now, Amen. so that's the spirit of depression. So the prophet Elijah had a stroke. And what about the prophet Elijah? You're like, I never read about this stroke. The prophet Elijah, he had a struggle too. Yeah. He had the spirit of insecurity. Touch on that on Sunday. He was insecure. Yeah. You're like, I never read that. Well, you know, I told you.
you need to read your word. Let your word read you. Amen. Yes, Lord. You can find a whole lot of things about that's going on. They weren't perfect. Yeah. Hallelujah. Just yeah. like yeah. widow. That means to let you know they had some strong insecurity. Yeah. All right. When he just received the mantle from the prophet Elijah, oh some little kids came out. Oh, you bald head. Yeah. Nanny, nanny, yeah. nanny, nanny, yeah. nanny, yeah. nanny, yeah. You're not yeah. good. He called out two female yeah. bears. Yeah out of the animal kingdom and struck them all day. Yeah. If that's not the spirit, preach, the, spirit, Pastor, preach. the Lord God has been blessed. Look, he received the mantle of power, but because of it, he acted too soon. He was insecure. And then because they were mocking him. I don't know about you, but have you ever been mocked? Yes. 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 You ever been mocked? Yes. Sometimes, you know, the enemy trying to mock you so much, make you feel like you're insecure. You, yes. You're doing this here. And you, did I say the right thing, Lord? Yes. Yes. You know, yes. Hey, but then, see, that, that's a struggle. Uh -huh. That's a struggle, and I want you to know, I'm trying to encourage you, you're not by yourself. It was in the Bible, too. Right. They had some strong, great man of God, was he not? Yeah, yeah, Surely, yeah. well, a lot of times when we read, oh, I'm moving right along. Yeah. Tell your neighbor, say, Eve of my breakthrough. Eve of my breakthrough. Oh, yeah, we're getting there. We're about to get there, but I want you to see something about the struggle. I want you to understand about the struggle, because the prophet Elijah, when he had a struggle, when he heard about the widow's son, am I right about it? Amen. The widow's son. And sure enough, after she took him in a took him in a home, her son died. And sure enough, he said, I I'm gonna take the son. And he went up. And the Bible says he went up. He went up to the upper room and he laid on. Him. And nothing happened. And then he got up and started walking around. Does that now now see a lot of people say, well, that means he's just persistent. Come you on. better read that word, read it well. He was insecure. He's like, Lord God, is he going to read? And then he turned around and he did it again. And that's when he sneezed and life was restored. Yeah. You see, he was back here yeah. struggling with insecurity. Yeah. You see that for, for what the word, it wasn't, yeah, he was being persistent, but if you read the word just yeah. before he called out the bear, he was feeling because he felt bad they were mocking him. Like he didn't have no head cover. Like some people like to mock me. Like you don't have no cover, but God is hey. my head. Oh, oh, my preach, God. Pastor, God. preach. Preach. Before we call it too bad, like the wild of a king, hey. you better oh. watch yourself. It's something yes. Because I'm God's anointed. Yes, Lord, God, in the name of Jesus. You better understand. You better understand this sort of life right here. Yeah. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm walking tall and I'm stepping high. Yes, Lord, God, in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. I'm going to tell you that it's an evil your breakthrough. So struggle not going to stop you. Struggle not going to stop you. I don't know about you, but struggle not going to stop you. Yeah, Moses, had, but Moses used to stutter. Uh, he had a problem with his mouth. Yeah. And he had an anger problem. My Isn't that a combination? <laughs> oh, <laughs> he already battled with anger. <laughs> and he was stunning on top of that. Yeah. So that means he was getting upset and stunning. And he said, Lord, help me, hold on. Preach, Pastor. If that's not a strike, I don't know what it is. Because it's like you're getting mad. So you, 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 uh, <laughs> preach, Pastor. Preach. He was already mad. You know people get your mad. Oh, yeah. Am I, I, am I yes, preaching up in the right house? Amen, amen. We love the people. Like, look, we love everybody. Yeah. Come on. Yes. We love everybody, but we're going to tell the truth straight yes. now. Come on. Yes. You right. know, sometimes they move and motivated by another spirit. Yes. And sure enough, they kept fussing at him and telling this and that. And the Lord, you know, Moses, he ended up, he struck the rock instead of speaking to it. Yes. You see, he got upset, acting out of order, like some of us. Hello. Oh, my Hello. My Hello. My you know, the Lord told you to speak that you want to hear. What, what, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> preach, no, Pastor, no, preach. Just come to house. Put your hands down and go pray. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. But just understand, I want you to see that it was a struggle for him. Like it may be a struggle for you. But I'm here to tell you, you're on the eve of your breakthrough. All because right. no matter what's happening, that the Lord God said that you're about to rise up and go. Mm. You're about to rise up and go. Because God did yes, all of that stuff. Thank everything that you've been going through. All of insecurity. Thank all the problems. Look, you. quick to the mob and slow to the hand.
breakthrough. Come on. Even your breakthrough. Yes. You got a seed in the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're down, oh, down, down. My God. Right. But you got a seed, though. All I don't right. know about you, but some of us, and this may not be for everybody, but most people who are through, you got a seat in the ground. Hey, hey, yes, yes. yes. See, the devil don't want you to know Jesus. you got a seat in the ground. Uh -huh. You know why? Because you got a lot of dirt on you. Yes. Woo! Yes. And a lot of people, you know, everybody got dirt news flash. Amen. Everybody Preach, got Pastor. Dirt. Preach. There ain't nobody in. No good plant can grow without any dirt. Am I preaching a Preach, Pastor. Everybody got some dirt. Yes, Lord. I ain't never seen no plant grow with no dirt. Yes. It has to start from a seed, but it needs some dirt. Yes. So you know what? Don't be concerned about the dirt. Don't be concerned about it because God said, you know what? That dirt not going to keep you down. Yes, You're about to break through. I don't know about you, but when you see a seed in the crowd, and you know you've been in the house of the Lord, you've been praising the Lord, you've been giving God's door. It's been raining, y'all. It's been raining. It's been raining up in here. Yes, that seed, that seed in the crowd. But every time the glory of God, that rain, you know that seed is sort of going to get me some rain. Look, you just start to shake that dirt off. Matter of fact, that dirt, matter of fact, for some of us, you know, some of us are deeper than others. I don't know about you, but I'm going to tell my testimony. Some of us are deeper than others. You just got dirt on top of dirt. But you know one thing, and as I encourage you, don't feel like you're left out. I don't care what your past was like. Everybody got some type of dirt. But as long as you got a seed in the ground. I'm here to tell you, you got a seed in the ground. And all of a sudden, you know, you just keep on pressing. God says, you know what, with your praise, I'm going to turn around. I'm going to use that dirt. You know, I'm going to use that, that enemy to make them your footstool. Yes, Lord. Yes, 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 Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. That dirt won't be, you know, God said, I'm going to work all things out for the good. Yes, In the name of Jesus. What the enemy meant for bad, God's going to turn around for good. Yes, yes, you see, that dirt was meant to keep you keep you down. Yes, that dirt was going to say, she ain't going to make it. Jesus. That dirt, he ain't going to make it either. Yes, he's right. just hitting and missing. But you know what? You need to realize, yes, that's right, the devil is alive. Yes, that that yes. dirt. You know, I'm just going to use that dirt, shake it off, and as a matter of fact, I'm going to just get on top of it. Here comes it up, and I'm going to just keep on growing. I'm going to keep on growing, I'm because I'm reaching. I'm getting ready to get up. Don't you know there's resurrection power? Hallelujah. I believe God. There's resurrection power. I'm about to get up out of this place. I'm about to get up and go. In the name of Jesus. I'm not standing underneath this dirt. You know what? The dirt can't hold you no more. Yes. I'm going to tell somebody because it's the evil to break your break. The dirt can't hold you down no more. They've been talking dirt for so long. You know, it don't even make a difference anymore. I'm preaching up in here right now. You know what? That's my past. I tell you what, man, you can stay, you and my past can stay over there. That's right. Amen. My future's over here. Amen. 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 Somebody better get that prophetically. Your future's over here. I receive that. Yes, Lord, it is. That dirt was in the past. Amen. 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 And put it under your feet. And surely enough, the rain comes. You stretch for the you stretch for the rain. Every time you're like, Lord, I don't know nothing's happening, but Lord God, I'm reaching for my victory. That's right. I keep coming to church. The one that God said I'm gonna be delivered. Well, you know what? I'm reaching for my rain. That's right. It's about to rain. I'm about to get set free from that sickness. I'm about to get set free from that disease, from that alcoholism. I'm gonna be getting set free. Lord God, from that terminal, from that illness. I'm gonna be getting set free. That back pain will leave today. continue to praise God. And that's why we always lift up our hands and give God glory and praise him. It's almost like you're reaching for the rain. Jesus. Reaching for the rain. You're reaching for the rain. You're reaching for the rain. Every time the word of God come in, you're like, give me that, Lord. Yeah. 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 That's right. Look, get out of the way. You're giving it. You can keep playing around, but I'm going to get all the rain. I'm going to get your rain, too. Yeah. You're about to break ground. Yes, Lord. I receive that, Lord. 